everybody and good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Baby watch. Welcome to our 40 week baby watch. Pregnancy bump date update. Do okay. it. No, do it. One more time. No. Oh, just do it. I'll time. save that last one for later. Baby watch. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. Can you believe that we actually hit 40 weeks? I really thought we were going to have him early. Um, I really honestly thought. I thought so too. Because you were so active throughout the whole pregnancy. You mm -hmm. weren't getting any kind of like swelling, like nothing. I really thought it was going to be quick. And look who came to join us. Yeah. She never misses a, a bump date. And after yesterday with the contractions, um, I just, I really thought, mm -hmm. you know, I, I thought we were having a baby yesterday. I know. Well, today, actually, um, uh -huh. well, when you watch this, it will be yesterday, but I mean, I really thought with everything we were doing, I mean, you should have seen us. We came home last night and Carrie spent probably two hours on that ball. Yes. I was rubbing her feet, rubbing the pressure points on the back of her ankle in between her Achilles and her heel. I was, there's a pressure point on the side of the pinky the toe, side of the pinky toe where the nail yeah. meets the, the toe. What are you looking at? Just you, because you're beautiful. Stop it. Come here, honey. Um, and then there's uh, another one, like, on the back of the, well, I was calling the it the hind quarter. Oh, yeah. That's... Yeah, the back of the hind quarter. Hi, honey. But it's really on, like, the lower calf. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we were doing anything we could. Uh, Carrie was using her, um... I think... Those things fell. I think seeing those contractions on the, the non-stress test really, like, got our hopes up a little bit. That yeah. things would start progressing so mm -hmm. we tried to encourage that to happen and nothing well plus she also said yesterday we were trying to plan out dinner after mm -hmm. our stress test this was before our stress test we were trying to plan it for after mm -hmm. i'm just not in the mood to eat i'm not hungry i don't know if this is a sign of labor but i am just i am not hungry yeah Food so like all like really of these gross. things coupled together with actually seeing the um contractions just it got us really excited oh yeah so anyways yeah. let's talk about little man first before we get back into us okay he's approximately seven and a half to eight pounds this week that is considered the average size uh for a 40 week baby at birth and between 20 and 21 inches long that's pretty long huh yeah <laughs> so do you know what that's the size of and everyday items? Um, a loaf of bread. Uh, I haven't measured it, so I can't say. Okay. But that is a good guess. I've, a I, loaf of Italian <laughs> bread. Um, a red panda. That's not really an everyday um, item. Yeah, I'm gonna have to call you out on this. A beach ball. <laughs> Hang on a minute, I gotta go get my red panda. <laughs> Where's my everyday red panda item? A beach ball. <laughs> I'm going to also argue <laughs> that a beach ball is not an everyday item well, either. It, yeah, I mean, if you go... To, if Do you, you remember last pool, winter when we were ski er, um, skiing and we brought out those beach balls? Skiing? Yeah. We had skiing? Yeah, exactly. We had beach balls in the winter. Okay, what's the next one? A fresh watermelon. I'm going to half give you that one. Half? <laughs> it's the summertime. You eat watermelon all the time. Okay, I see what you mean. So these were summertime mm -hmm. items. Yes. How many of you, uh, please let us know down below, how many of you have a red panda though? I really want to know. <laughs> For your summertime must-have items. Okay, okay. Okay. Anyway. Anyways. Hey, you, you asked me to be in this video, so I'm giving it some flair. Well, thank you for joining us today. Well, thank you for having me. <laughs> so, baby is at full birth size, which I would hope at this point, being at 40 weeks full term. So you know? he's no longer looking like the sixth man. Uh, one of those creations when you're cloning someone. Oh, okay. I don't get that one reference. One day she'll get that reference. I Moving on. Never will. Um, his skull is not fused together, so he can fit through the birth canal, which means he might come out looking a little uh, cone-headed. Just so you know. That's why babies have soft spots, because their, their uh, skull has not fused together. So the soft spots are spaces between the skull bones hmm. are you okay with that I'm just thinking about the fussy form gyrus I'm wondering if that's fused 
or not. So keep going. <clears throat> um, he's continuing to grow hair and nails and his lungs are continuing to develop. It's gonna come out looking like Edward Scissorhands if he doesn't get out soon. I hope his nails aren't that long. Youch. Or he could look like Freddy. No, 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 no. He could. He okay. could have a full anyway. head of hair though. Um, and lastly, he currently has about 300 bones. Really? In his body. But as you age, they fuse together. So by the time you're an adult, you only have 206. Yeah. Isn't that nuts? I did not know that babies had like, more bones. I knew that. Did the skull was not fused together, so that counted for extra some bones. More bones. Yeah, but I didn't realize that was almost, you know, a hundred more bones. Yeah, I didn't know either. Than I have, so okay. that's pretty nuts. Yeah, it's pretty interesting, huh? Mhm. Mm so that's really it with little man this yeah. week. He's ready to come out just whenever, whenever he's ready. Yeah, and I mean that's we're obviously trying to coax him more than normal. Uh huh. Uh, more than we normally would have in the previous weeks because now we know he's he's fully cooked and he's ready ready to come out Yeah, so we just got to get your body to serve him. Yeah Soon he should be physically re ready to come out. He just might not be mentally ready. Yeah, he's a scared. Um, Our sister Lisa says that we need to just leave him alone. He'll come out when he's ready. <laughs> yeah, so one of these days we might have a toddler Because they grow right. faster in the womb, right? <laughs> You're crazy. Anyways, how am I doing this week? Well, how are you doing? What would your opinion be of me this week? I think that you're great, because you're always great. <laughs> However, I have enjoyed our time apart <laughs> while I've been doing homework, because oh, okay. you look like you're just working out so much, because she's just like, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. We don't have any dirty laundry. We have one dish in the sink. And a dish from a, a Brat Burgers. That I ate last night. Yeah. We always have a few dishes. We always have something laying around. Yes. She's on a mission to yeah. to do what? I guess I, I might be feeling that burst of energy they talk about. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not super motivated to do a lot. I like, I'd still rather just sit on the couch, but I can't just sit on the couch. like. Recently, I wanted. I said, I just want to do nothing all day and sit on my couch. But I know that's not going to happen because after 15 minutes, I got to get up and do something. Yeah, I can't get her to sit with me to save her life. No, no. no. So, so she you got any cravings? Uh, I'd still say fruit snacks. Yeah, yeah. And I, still, I want another blue raspberry slosh. I haven't had one of those in a couple of weeks, even though I've been craving them. Does anyone have? Like one of those slushy machines at home. Like, okay, you know how they have the margarita machines? Mm -hmm. I've been thinking about getting one of those because one day maybe we will have an adult drink. Mm -hmm. But if anyone who has one, can you use those to make slushies? We could probably make a slushie with our blender. Well, that too, but the margarita drink makes the little baby ices. Uh -huh. It makes those, and that to me makes a good icy. Now the reason I ask this is because if I were to spend X amount of dollars to get the margarita machine, it's like $4 for a slush for a decent size. True. And if you crave one of those, let's say that, let's just hypothetically, I know there's a lot of sugar, but if you make them at home, you can also make them with less syrup too. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if anyone has one of those machines or if you have a machine similar to it, that makes that little baby ice like that because our refrigerator doesn't make it either. No, it doesn't. So I was thinking about that too. We're just looking for some input. Yeah, yeah, this. please, if you have that, because I looked on I looked on Amazon, and I didn't see anything yeah. in the in the thing there. I'm the thinking store. ahead too because yeah. it would be nice to get little man when he's older, like a little treat, but mm -hmm. obviously not pay a lot of money and not have it be so sugary. True. So True. kids like the color. Maybe just not all the sugar. Oh, right? smart, smart, smart. Um, movement wise, little man has been kicking up a storm. So how's that making you feel? Well, when he's fully stretched out, he's I'm getting that old thunder punch. Or lightning crotch, yes. which I've come accustomed to. Yes. Uh, so I'll be sitting there, I'll be like, ah! And Tiffany's like, are you having a contraction? No, just a thunder punch. But you don't know that it's not a contraction though. 
you're right, I don't, but I'm I'm assuming because it's so quick that it's just he hit a nerve down there. We did find out from the doctor though that contractions can be like two seconds long. It's when they're for a whole minute that we really worry. Yeah. Which we haven't come anywhere near that yet. I think she said the longest one we had yesterday was like eight or nine seconds or something. Is that what it was? Yeah, it was on that chart. It showed a span of seconds. It wasn't 10 seconds because mm -hmm. it wasn't a whole block. Yeah. I wish we could have showed you guys that paper printout. That would have been really yeah. easy to show you so you'd understand yeah. it. So she's talking about the NST that we had yesterday. Mm. Um, we passed. It. He had at least two movements that increase his heart rate within the 20 minutes. Um, the NSTs also show contractions. Yeah. So we saw about three of them. They weren't really consistent. Three no. or four, I think. I think there was four. Yeah, they, they weren't really consistent or anything like that. Nothing that I could really feel, like, recognize as a contraction. So. Enough to yeah. get the nurse excited enough to tell us about it yeah because she said normally it she was showing me if they don't spike up above whoa okay <laughs> if they don't spike up above a certain thing they don't even usually wreck it or like tell people about them right so that's i think that's what got us really um really? excited yeah um we also had an ob appointment yesterday yes and that went well um we don't really have any more progress i'm still one centimeter about 60 percent effaced but my cervix has softened up quite a bit, which is a good sign. It means that it will uh, thin easier, a face easier, and start to dilate a little bit more. So we learned something interesting yesterday too at the uh, OB appointment. Uh -huh. Carrie asked our doctor if he was still sunny side up. And the doctor said, well, right now he feels like he's not, but he really couldn't tell. But then he explained to us the curvature of your um the birth the, canal. The birth canal actually kind of twists the baby yeah. to be face down, usually. Yeah, he said it um but he also said only twenty or to thirty percent of babies are is it DP? OP is when they're down. OP is when they're face up, sunny side up. Yeah. At birth. He said about twenty five to thirty percent, I think, start sunny side up and then only about 10 percent are delivered sunny side up yeah so, so he's not worried about it at all given his movement and all yeah. that kind of stuff that so. was really interesting to know and it really relieved me a little bit because i'm super nervous about him being born face up yeah and he didn't give us an exact um size did he like no. he kind of did but I said, I man, he he's said gonna he's end up not being... even eight pounds. Right, but I, when I when we were talking about next week, mm -hmm. I said, man, he's gonna be over eight pounds, and the doctor's like, yeah, he's probably, but that's not too bad. Mm -hmm. Eight pounds to me, I used to bowl with an eight pound ball. <laughs> that's all I can think of right now. Yeah, I mean, I realize it's not a bowling ball. I used to do the six pound one. <laughs> I, I have used those before, lightweight. but I had an issue with one flying into another lane. <laughs> It, was not, it, was, it wasn't good. Mm -hmm. So it was bowling watch. Bowling People watch. were running. But anyway, yeah. um, I was a little bit nervous. That's what yeah. I was thinking about yesterday. Like, holy smokes, eight pounds. Yeah. You know. So we did schedule an induction date in case little man decides not to come on his own. It will be a week from today well, as we're we, filming. So this is technically our last bump date. Yeah. Um... Technically, we don't have the date scheduled. That's true. He told us that it's going to be next week. We still have to wait. By the time you watch this, uh -huh. we should have received a call from the uh -huh. schedulers because they were off yesterday for our NST, and then they're off today when we're filming this uh, because of 4th of July. Yes. So, but he did tell us next Wednesday. like he, Because they only schedule a certain number of inductions per day. So if that day's already full, they could push us back one day. Yeah. But as of right now, we just have it in our heads. It's a week from today. Yes, which is also my dad's birthday. Yeah. Yes. How um, exciting would that be? It would be kind of exciting, but just like you said with my mom's birthday, just like we talked about that, uh -huh. it'd be really nice for a little man to have his own day. But mm -hmm. I mean, I wonder, I love the idea of him being born on 7-Eleven day. You yeah. Know, like it's his birthday mm -hmm. and like we can always go get him a Slurpee mm -hmm. and it'll be Free. You know, like how you wanted him to be born on the 29th because our anniversary, your birthday, 
and yes. your mom's anniversary, right? <coughs> yes, I was thinking, oh, it'd be cool on the 11th because that's. <coughs> I'm sorry. Bless you. I'm My sorry, birthday. Me. The 11th. The 11th, yes. July. But... Right. So we would share the same number, but it would be nice for him to have his own day. It, but my, it would still be cool. My sister's really shooting for seven seven, which seven's my favorite number. So of course I'm with her on that. I'm actually just shooting for any day. <laughs> like if you really wanted the honest truth, I just I just want to see my son. Yeah. I just want to hold him. Um, I just want to hear him cry, cry and coo. I want him to poop all over me. That's and... the last thing on our house, mom. We're ready to meet little man. Yeah. You can come out now. It's on video as proof. I mean, that, I think that might be the nicest time you've said it. Oh, honey yeah. bear. So the last segment I normally have like products of the week or tips of the week lately because I've ran out of products. But I thought this week I would ask if Tiff had any tips just for right, people. Right now, like <laughs> without even asking me ahead of time. Uh -huh. Do you have any tips? Tips as for... being the partner in the relationship? Sure. Hmm. Um, okay, so I do have some tips. Do we have some time? Yes. All right. Um, so tip number one, pregnant women between 39 and 40 weeks are very indecisive. Even if they won't admit that, they are. Uh, we had an incident yesterday where I thought Carrie was going to tell me what she wanted to have for dinner. And it went back and forth, back and forth so much. I should have just taken you to get a chicken wrap from the bus stop. <laughs> um, so me saying, you have to tell me, you have to tell me, they're not going to tell you. I should have used my better judgment and just taken you to the Shut bus stop. Shut around my mind. I, yeah, there's a lot of mind reading in uh, that last week. <laughs> um, the burst of energy is pretty annoying, but you guys got to let them do it. Uh, I couldn't, I can't worry about her. She said she wanted to go for a walk. She ended up walking like three laps when I thought she was only going to do one. I can't worry about her because her body knows. Even though the whole time I'm like peeking out the window, I'm looking out the door, I know like where her path was. I had ice water and a phone. I was safe. I, I know, but you know, almost being a parent, I was a little bit worried. Yes. Uh, finally, for the last one, any time that you get that downtime and you're able to see your sleeping pregnant partner slash wife but whatever the person is to you could be best friend could be anything just give them a stare because <laughs> it is the one time when they're not moving around a lot when they're not going batshit crazy when they're not being indecisive when they're not annoying you <laughs> yes and they're just laying there so peaceful and you remember what this whole journey has been about you literally remember why you did this in the first place with this person. Oh, that's really sweet. Yeah. Almost brought tears to my eyes. Yes. So are you going to do a final photo update? Mm-hmm. Well, let's do it. All right. Here's the bump. think of the bump I mean I I don't know how it's gonna look in the photo but to me it's been looking like like he's in real getting life, down yeah in real, in real life. life it looks like he's descending a little bit dropping yeah. like I know that photos say a thousand words or whatever but These sometimes that dropped <laughs> no <laughs> she's still got jokes guys yeah yeah but anyway I think it looks I think the belly looks lower. I think mm -hmm. he's ready to come out. Um, I just think he's too comfortable in there. He's got a, a maternity pad in there. I know. He has planted his flag in your uterus, and I don't think he's coming out. Unless we, might, we beg him. We might have to force him out. Hi, but. honey. 
time. He'll be here within a week. And all the cats definitely want him. I know that Carrie has mentioned for several weeks now that the cats have been like really glomming to Annoying. her. But even Katniss, our first, our first cat, who is, um, what is that? Popcorn. It's a piece of popcorn skin. Yeah, hey, <laughs> yesterday was $2 popcorn. We had to get some. Um, anyway, even Katniss, the cat who is, for all intents and purposes, my cat, mm -hmm. has not been sleeping with me at night. No. She's been sleeping with Carrie. Yeah. She crawls right up here. She tickles my neck with her whiskers, which is another thing that annoys me. What and then she and reaches over and licks her face. Uh, she does. <laughs> anyway, we're all ready. Yes. That's, uh, that's the basically The cats are it. ready, we are ready. And no, I see a change, a but game. let us know if you see a change below. Yeah. yeah. So that's all we've got for today. Yep. Thank you guys so much for watching yeah. our pregnancy updates. Yeah, and thanks for sharing us with our friends. That's really weird. Why? This is your thing. I don't guess. Because <laughs> I say thanks for sharing us with your friends. Yeah, I know, but I got to say it today, so you go. All right, well then. We will catch you on the flippity. You're supposed to kiss me. Don't forget to follow us on all of our social media pages, especially the tweeters. <laughs> <laughs>